today I'm talking all about my plans for the next few months. So if you're interested in hearing what I'm going to be working on, then keep watching. Welcome back to my channel. This is Susie from Thread Quarter. Thanks for joining me again today and a very happy new year to you. Um, I really hope that you had a lovely festive period, whatever you got up to, whatever way you celebrate. Um, I had a really lovely one. It was very much family orientated and um, I didn't really come onto YouTube or Instagram um, or anything like that. I sort of put that to the side and focus on my family and spending time with them and um, it's always a very special time so I was very grateful to be able to do that. So a new year, it's uh, time to make those new year's resolutions, time to make those 2020 goals. I have always been one to enjoy the planning. I love planning, I could plan until the cows come home but as for following through and sticking with my plans, with my goals, with my resolutions, I'm not so good. Um, if I'm not accountable to anyone apart from myself, not so good. If, it's, if I'm accountable to someone else then yeah I'll probably, I will stick to them, not probably, I will. But if it's just for myself, I have to admit that I am very bad at following through with things that I, I want to get done. Um, I'm just so easily distracted by a new fabric, new pretty fabric, or new pattern releases, or just some new idea that's popped in my head, maybe rifling through my stash and I see something and I think, oh yes, that would make a beautiful whatever. Um, and then those previous plans that I made months ago just sort of flitter away and they're still there in the back of my mind but um, the new idea is always so much more enticing. Um, so I've learned not to make plans for very far in advance. Um, I'm sure you guys have all heard of the Make 9 idea that's on Instagram at this time of year and it is a really lovely idea and of course it fits beautifully into the square grid for Instagram as well. You divide it up into nine squares and then have your projects um, that you're going to be completing over the next year. And I have done that in the past but I have managed to make about maybe one, maybe two out of those nine. And um, so I, I just knew that it's just not right for me. It works so well for other people and that's brilliant but just for myself I just I don't want to set myself up to fail um, so I had been thinking about this um, a lot and also thinking about how you know it just is quite difficult for me to plan a full year's worth of sewing ideas and projects um, in January and my my ideas and and interests and uh, life changes in ways that I'm just not going to even know about you know what is in ahead of me for the next 12 months I don't know it's exciting but um, the next three months yeah I think I could plan for that and it just so happened that when I was scrolling on Instagram earlier I came across um, a girl who has been thinking the same thing I know I'm not um, alone in uh, not being able to stick to a full year's worth of plans or wanting to um, and the craft and thrift shop I will link her profile down below she actually has a little Etsy shop selling vintage thrifted and dead stock fabric so if you're very much into sustainable um, living sustainable sewing um, or just want to support an, an independent fabric shop then do check out her shop the link is down below but she came up with a different hashtag which I thought yes that is so much more achievable and so along the lines of what I had been thinking anyway so I thought I'm gonna join in with that one so it is called make three in three so three projects in three months yes I can do that I am going to do it mm, these are my plans <laughs> so to make it more achievable for myself because I do have lots of other things I want to get done and other sewing that I want to do as well but these are for this this plan and um, I thought well I have lots of projects that are already cut out that I've already said that I want to make um, let's put them in this um, make three and three plan and then they will get done and I will also achieve my three and three plan. So I cannot for the life of me remember if I talked about this on this channel before. I am quite sure I have. 
I really think I have and I didn't manage to get it done. So here you go. I will talk about it again. <laughs> so last year I had signed up to another sewing challenge, um, which was a really lovely one. And I, I do remember now, I did promote it on uh, YouTube uh, because there were other YouTubers who initiated it. And it was about making sewing friends and you get paired up with a sewing friend and um, they tell you what to make out of a selection of different one, uh, uh, patterns that you choose in fabrics. And then they'll send you a little parcel that will help you make your project. Well, I didn't get around to making mine at all. It just, it fell in at exactly the same time as um, me kicking off my sewing classes. And I just didn't, I just didn't have the time. So I'm really sorry about that to my sewing partner. She did make hers and it was absolutely beautiful. And she did use the haberdashery pieces that I sent her. So it's not like I didn't fulfill that aspect of the challenge. She did send me a little haberdashery um, collection as well to use in mine. So I will make sure that I definitely do use them. And it is the... Mm -mm -mm -mm. Cheyenne tunic by Hey June out of this gorgeous um, double gauze fabric that I got from Miss Matatabi years ago, years ago, because I had, I've had this cut out for a crazy length of time. I hope it's would even cut out in a size that's going to fit me. I don't know. It will. It will. So yes, I'm going to do this in the next three months, definitely. And I will use some of the haberdashery pieces that Hagar sent me to include in them. So I am, I feel I am very naughty for not doing that last year. So it's going to get done now, in the next three months. It's definitely going to get done. Hold me accountable, guys. Send me messages. Remind me that I, I said I'm gonna do it. I need to get it done. I want to get it done. I want it in my wardrobe. I want to be able to wear it. So sticking with that theme, another project, oh, things are falling on the floor. Another project in one of my project folders that I have had cut out for like a year, maybe more. It just so happens to also be another, um, another Hey June pattern. This is the Halifax hoodie. Um, I don't have it printed out, so picture here of the pattern. Um, and all the links to the patterns will be down below in the description box if you are curious about them at all. Um, and if I can find the fabric that I'm using, I will link it down below as well. But as I say, they are all either from my stash or, well, they are all from my stash, but I bought them years ago. So they might not still be available. But um, so I'm going to make the Halifax hoodie in this really lovely nautical sweatshirting and if I can find a piece that I can show you the inside because they're all still pinned to the pattern pieces yes here we go okay let's see here's close up of the fabric it's really lovely I love the way the stripe is um rough and sketchy like that and the inside is so soft and fluffy and gorgeous and it's right up my street it's very me and you know it, it this looks like a summery print but because it's all soft and snuggly you can wear it whenever you like so I would like to wear it sooner rather than later and then because I had some in my stash I had some red ponty wow that's really bright on the screen it's not quite as um, saturated as that in real life um, and it matches the red stripe perfectly mm -hmm, it does trust me on it um, I have bits that I'm going to be doing out of this just for a little bit of added interest so I can see here that I have cut out the waistband in the red I actually can't remember what bits I've cut out in the red so let's find out together um, the sleeve band so there we go I've got the sleeves and the waistband are in the red the little kangaroo um, pocket at the front is in the stripe, but I think from my memory, let me see. Um, yes, I'm going to bind the pocket edge. So this bit here in the red, so that will be nice. And then everything else is in the stripe. 
so it's just a little a little touch of red little details and that's actually not something I've done an awful lot of with my sewing I have mainly with my sewing done just all pretty much all the same fabric for, for every garment rather than um, mixing and matching fabrics that's something I quite like to do a lot more of and it's a great way of scrap busting as well um, so yeah that's my second project for my uh, three and three and then because you know I like new projects I like new exciting um, things to make so I thought I'll include one new idea new project that I haven't cut out that is just new to my sewing room hasn't been sitting in here for years um just to sort of keep that interest there and hopefully that will uh, um spur me on um i have been wanting to make this dress for a long time pretty much since it was released and it is the paper cut meridian dress which is a beautiful wrap style dress yeah and paper cut and there's the line drawings there crazy looking really crazy looking um i am not sure whether this style will suit my body shape because i have a little bit of a lower tummy pouch pooch i don't know i don't know what you would call it it's not totally flat sure but i don't mind it but i don't like to accentuate it um and i'm just I don't know whether that tie at the front is going to then um, pouch out underneath, not pouch out, poof out, poof out underneath the wrap, which I wouldn't want it to do. So I don't know. Fabric with a lot of drape would help there definitely rather than more structured fabric. Um, you also need three meter. I want to do long sleeves and maybe the longer length because I think it would be quite elegant. Uh, is there's a shorter length and a longer length, short sleeve, long sleeves. So you need three meters for this pattern and I have to admit that I am always stingy when I'm just buying fabric for the sake of buying fabric rather than with a project in mind and I tend to buy two meters. So I didn't have a lot in my stash that was long enough um, and I didn't really want to buy new fabric because that's a whole other um, plan of mine for this year. Which I'll talk about in a second um, but after searching my stash for a bit I came across this um, crepe that I have had I bought it from Minerva um, and I have had it for quite a while and I really love it it's very much me black and white nice geometric pattern but I've always sort of struggled with the pattern I thought just plain and simple as it is, is maybe a bit too much. Um, so then when I was thinking about it in terms of having the wrap aspect, I thought, yes, that would actually maybe be quite nice because it would break up the pattern a bit, um, but still have that nice sort of geometric aspect to it, but not so blocky, if that makes sense. So I think this would be good, and it's very, very drapey. It is slightly sheer, I don't want to line the dress, so what I think I will probably end up doing is wear a slip under it, um, just uh, for the skirt part, maybe just one with a little cami type slip. Yeah, but I think it'll be good. But what I'm actually thinking about this is probably a wearable toile, because who knows what this will be like. If it does look nice on me, I can see myself making a few more. I would love to make this dress in that Atelier Brunette um, granito viscose if you know that fabric I made a stevie dress out of it and I love it so much and I just think it would be stunning as a meridian dress but three meters of atelier brunette fabric would be a lot that would be very expensive so I would have to be seriously happy with the pattern before I would spend that kind of money no so those are my three concrete plans for the next three months, my make three and three plans. Um, in terms of fabric buying, I'm not on a fabric ban. I was thinking I was going to tell myself to not buy fabric for a whole year. And I did seriously, seriously, seriously consider challenging myself to do that for 
two reasons. One, my fabric stash has outgrown my sewing room and is overflowing into boxes that I've organised into the roof space. They were in my bedroom, they're now neatly organised in my roof space. But I just know that I will see something over the course of the year and I will, it'll, if it makes my heart sing, if I just think it's to die for, I would feel sad if that I had challenged myself not to buy anything and I wouldn't I wouldn't be able to buy it without breaking that promise to myself so to speak. Um and the other reason I was telling myself I wanted to do the ban, I forgot that that's what I was saying. <laughs> um is because at money reasons, financial reasons, you know, fabric costs a lot of money. I have a lot of fabric. I don't need to buy more fabric. So I don't really have any concrete plans yet about my approach to fabric for 2020. I am going to slow down. I'm going to be a lot more careful with my purchases. Um, if I, I will always shop my stash before buying fabric. And if there is something suitable in my stash, I will definitely use that first. I would like to get my fabric stash down to fitting only in my sewing room and not in the roof space, not in an, any other room in the house, only in here. So if I can do that, that would be an amazing achievement for 2020 actually, because there's quite a lot of fabric that has over spilled my sewing room. So yeah, I think that'll be it. I mean, I'm not gonna do a very, defined goal of one in one out or you know th make three things up and then you can buy one piece of fabric something like that because it's it's too it's too rigid for me and I don't like I don't like rigid rigid I don't like very strong rules it's just my personality if you give me lots of rules I will want to break them <laughs> Um, so yeah, so just a little bit more of a relaxed um, approach to uh, resolutions is just be more mindful of fabric shopping and try not to let all the pretty fabrics um, distract me. <sighs> um, and yeah, use my stash, use my stash more. But as I say, no no fixed rules. Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed my um, little rambling today. It's nice to be back just with a nice chatty vlog. Um, I feel like I haven't been I haven't been on in ages, so I've missed you, and it's nice to be back. Um, I am going to now film what I've been making recently, so that will be coming up probably next week. Um, I've just been making a few fun quick makes. This might be one of them. It is one of them. So you'll see that next week. But for now, I shall so say cheerio. Please put in the comments down below if you um, are doing any sewing goals this year, any plans, have you done a make nine? What do you think of the make three and three? You're gonna join in with that. Um, I would love to hear from you all and just let's just start the chat down below. So um, I will see you all next week. Bye guys. <laughs>